Hi kids, today we will be drawing a bird known as toucan. We will start by first drawing the branches with a pencil and remember to use the pencil very light handedly. We will start making the leaves randomly here and there on the branches. Then we will continue by drawing the beak of the toucan. Just follow me as I go. <clears throat> to draw the body of the toucan, we just have to follow the curves as shown in the video. And then we will continue by drawing the eyes and the feet of the toucan. After we are done with the body and the feet, we will start by drawing the tail of the toucan. Now let's make a few more leaves on the remaining spaces on the branch. Also draw some lines on the beak of the toucan. We are now finally done with the pencil thing. Now let's continue it by outlining it with a sketch. Outlining helps the drawing to look more defined and remember to go very slow. Ignore the small happy mistakes you make, but remember to improve it for the next time. After the outlining thing is done, we'll now erase the remaining pencil marks on the sheet. Let's start with the coloring. I'll be using pencil colors for the details and plastic crowns for the background. We will now start by coloring the branch with brown color. Remember to use the color in one direction and do not leave any white spaces in between. Also, remember to go very slow. Once we are done with the branches, we will start coloring the token with black color. Just, just follow me as I go and color in one direction. I'll be using three colors in the token's beak. First I'll start off with orange, then yellow and then red. Use silver color for the toucan's paws. For the leaves, I have two different shades of green. One is dark green and the other is light green. First, I'll start off with dark green and then I'll continue covering it with light green. Kids, don't forget the three rules of coloring I've always taught you. You have to go in one direction, never leave the white spaces in between and also go very slow with the coloring. You will get the best outcomes if you will be patient with the coloring. Yay, we are done with the detail work. Now let's color the sky with blue plastic crayon. Kids, when you color the big surfaces such as the sky, keep the color in a slightly angled position but, not, but do not keep it in a proper sleeping position. Do the coloring very carefully and slowly, trying not to spill out the colors here and there. Great success! We are all, almost done with the coloring. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, take care and keep smiling. Goodbye!